Is it Fursuit Friday? It is! Oh. It's Fursuit Friday, everybody! <laughs> Squeak. And guess what it was uh, three days ago? Cinco de Mayo. It was Goku Day or Piccolo Day. Take your pick. Also, it was my birthday. Wait a minute. It was Piccolo Day? Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's when King Piccolo took over the earth. He named it uh, the May 9th Piccolo Day. Well, dang. I wish we had celebrated. Also, uh, Goku in Japanese is 5-9. So, it's also Goku Day. We could have celebrated by eating carrots. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, if only we had some that weren't that were <laughs> good to eat. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, it was my birthday, and it I was your birthday, and, and I streamed for nine and a half hours on my birthday. Longest stream I uh, never mind. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I hope, no, I'm looking long. forward to streaming some more. Uh, the stream, uh, it it. it it was both successful and not successful at the same time. I was aiming to uh, complete Majora's Mask <clears> in uh, one three-day cycle. I was not able to get anywhere close to doing that. But uh, I hadn't played it in several years, so I was fairly rusty. Uh, so I now have some things I know that I need to work on. But uh, I was very happy to play the game again, and I'm looking forward to completing it uh, in as few cycles as possible. And, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully be streaming again, uh, today. Today? Yeah, Friday. Friday? Okay, cool. So, yeah. Uh. Did you know that it was Goku Day? Yes, I did. Well, actually, no, I didn't. I actually knew it was Piccolo Day. I didn't realize it was Goku Day until I watched the video. You know what I like Goku about day. Piccolo? Is that he's green. Yes. <laughs> he's, al of... he's also a better dad than Goku. <laughs> yeah, no okay. response. I was trying to think of something to say. And I was like, wait a minute. I kind of fell off of Dragon Ball Z a while back. Nothing against we it. Saw, we saw the movie together, though. Yes, we did. I liked the movie a lot. Like, tremendously. Even uh, without having seen it in a very long time, mm -hmm. I recognized all of the returning characters and was familiar with their backstories, at least for the most part. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really lose anything by not having watched mm -hmm. it for, like, 15 years, so. Yeah, I mean, and we also did watch the, uh, Dragon Ball Super, uh, Broly yes, and Dragon did, Ball, yeah. uh, Battle of the Gods. Uh, yeah, those, movies. those were pretty good. I enjoyed, which one did I enjoy more? Which is the one with the birthday party? Uh, that would be Battle of the Gods. Okay, then Broly I enjoyed more. <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, that is, uh, the one that's, uh, considered the high mark, uh, mm -hmm. Of, uh, of the latest movies. But anyhow, a uh, happy birthday. For the record, these actually came in on your birthday. Really? So they actually, no, I lied. They came in the day before your birthday. Oh. So they've been in. <clears throat> fairly hefty. I like it. Yeah, I, like I was going to wrap all the gifts individually, but then I decided. I like that you, that you yeah. decided not to. Yeah, I figured you'd you'd be bothered. <laughs> and also, I'm lazy. There's a card in there, too. Yeah, I saw that. I was just looking for a bag, and then I saw the green bag, and I was like, I have to get that one. It looks like the cotton candy. Does it taste like it? Oh, oh. <coughs> oh, sorry, I didn't say. What's happening? There we go. Oh, Mob Psycho 100, Volume 10. Yeah, sorry, I didn't get you the other nine volumes. I already <laughs> have the other ones. Then it's all good. I pulled out two things, okay. And they're both start with the word one. <laughs> ah. Yeah, one Piece Volume 102 and One Punch Man Volume 25. Yes, yes. Uh, it's my understanding these are the latest volumes. Yes, they are. A lot of them have the next volume up for pre order. Yes. A lot, if not all. So, looking forward to reading those. 
Oh, next uh, volume of My Hero Academia Team Up Missions. Yeah. Now, the, these are the kind of... Uh, oh, excuse me. Don't, shouldn't talk at my mouthful. Uh, these are the uh, basically the filler kind of stories uh, that you want to see. Um, Where all, all the like stuff that's going down when, uh, you know, the big, huge plot stuff isn't happening. Also, uh, I spy the little guy, the guy with the bird from the movie. Oh. Remember the last yeah. movie we saw in the theater? Yeah, oh, yeah. I really liked his character. I actually wanted him to be quirkless. I mean, not that his quirk is terribly useful, but... Ooh! And uh, the character that was teased in the last episode of the anime. Lady All Might. <laughs> uh, Stars and Stripe. Or Star and Stripe, apparently. Ah, I wonder if there's anything like the Stars and Stripe. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what their carry. ability will be. They, they actually did not say... Of, of all the times they say the character's names and their ability, they introduce her, and it's just like, name. That's all you get. You yeah. don't get to find out what they do. But yeah, and uh... He's on the back there for some reason. I wonder if he's that. Well, and also uh, the the uh, girl who makes things. I can't remember her name. Asbestos. Oh, there's the card you're talking about. Uh, and uh, the next volume of uh, the main series. There we go. And I uh, like Principal Nezu is in the uh, little uh, picture in the corner there. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Principal Nezu. Nezu Nezu. Yeah, Deku is not looking too uh, too good there. He's looking fairly dark and evil looking. Yeah, like from Also, the Stain show. is on the back here. Who is that? Stain. Oh, no. I'll get the bleach. Ah. Different anime reference. Uh -huh. Neat. I like it. It's a little pouch for the, the card. Yeah, that was, that was pretty neat. This friendly trash panda would like to wish you a very happy birthday. And there's a picture of Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, I couldn't find a red panda, so that was Yeah, we're like... pretty hard to come by. Oh, what? Um, oh, is that trash? Is that the joke? What is that? It's a cupcake uh, thing there. Oh. He would also like to know if you're going to eat that cupcake wrapper. <laughs> uh, thank you for putting up with my... Okay. Yeah. Thank you for putting up with me, basically. Alrighty, then. Yeah. We also went out for his birthday. Oh. Yeah. We, we saw the new uh, Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Yes. So in did the we, movie... Do we want to talk about it at all in this video? or No, nah, I think we should make that its own video. All right, all right. Uh, but we did see the movie. It was a lot of fun. Well, I could say just a little bit. My I've, general thoughts are... I've been surprised to see that there are people that still did not like this movie. I think it... Honestly, I do not I, see why. I, I thought this movie was, was like one of the best Marvel movies in some time. Even 100%, though I've enjoyed 100%. most of them. Uh, yes. I doesn't. I I I am a fan girl. I absolutely enjoy almost pretty much everything they come out with. It's mm -hmm. just some things I enjoy way more than others. Agreed. And Guardians of the Galaxy, I think, is easily the best thing that they've come out uh, with. Uh, definitely this year. <laughs> the, I would also say that the fact that there uh, there are not a whole lot of new characters that are yes. thrown your way, like uh, like the last one, Ant Man. Yeah, uh, there's like a dozen or more new characters, uh, minor or major. Yeah, and uh, you know you don't get a whole lot of time with all these characters, so you're like, yeah. oh, hi, hi, new character. What's yeah. your deal? Oh, you, that's your deal. Okay, Here's, bye. Yeah, that's pretty much bye. it. Hi, I'm so and so. Here's the quirky thing about me. Bye. Maybe <laughs> you'll see me later. I don't know. <laughs> you'll see me in one more scene, and yeah, that's yeah, it. Probably. But in this one, uh, it, most of the characters <laughs> in the movie are characters that have been pre-established. And uh, you kind of already know what their deal is. You just get to know more about them. Uh, they get to, you know, take part in the team. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, it's also, uh, it'll also tug at your heartstrings. So, uh, yeah. so go into it. Be, be prepared. Uh, yeah. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, I'd recommend you watch uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. 
and uh, the holiday special. Yes, they all tie into this uh, movie to varying degrees. There, there is a, a bit of a mention of uh, the events of the uh, the Avengers uh, in uh, Endgame movie. Uh, it was it Infinity War and Endgame. Is that the two? Yeah. But yeah, it 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 briefly mentions the events of that movie, so that is uh, something that you want gonna need to know. Uh, I don't think that there's any, really any reference to Thor: Love and Thunder. No. Uh, but yeah, so that really you just a need very, to very watch small. the the Three Guardians very of the Galaxy uh, properties uh, before going into it to yeah. get the most okay, out of we'll, it. We'll do a video. We'll do a proper video. We'll, okay. We address more of it. Um, and also we went out for dinner. Yes. And the people sitting next to us left so much of their food. Chicago got another free dinner, <laughs> which I ate last night. Yeah, they were like, hey, we need take-home trays, and they only... They, they didn't even, we, we didn't have to ask, they just gave it they, to they, us. This is true. Actually, yes, that is what happened. The, the place They brought uh, four of them out, and the other people only took one box, and the other person left everything that was on her plate. She did not eat any of it. Yeah, there was... Most of the food was not eaten. <laughs> yeah. So... I don't normally take other people's food at the restaurants, <laughs> but money is tight. Yeah. And I saw a pl pile of untouched food. And food that was, like, almost the same as what we got, or what I got, anyway. Yes, it was ba very, very similar. They got chicken, I got the New York steak. Yeah, and they also cooked all this shrimp, which I thought was just going to go on mine, but yeah, it turns out all the dishes yeah. came with it. Uh, I'm pretty used to these uh, sorts of places. Yeah. They, they usually give uh, everybody a couple shrimp. Yeah. And I counted how many there were, and we went, between the two of us, I think we got six pieces. Yep, that makes sense. So. Two, two, and then the two that yeah. didn't get eaten. But neither one of us eat shrimp. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, I do you remember you there was at least one uh, hibachi place we went to where the uh, the, the chef act actually asked, uh, do you want your shrimp? <laughs> yes. So he didn't cook ones that, that weren't going to get eaten. That was the last one we went to, the Kyoto uh, one. But, uh, at the, at a and &E. Uh, but yeah, um, definitely it was a great show. I took some pictures. Uh, I try to remember if I posted. I don't. I think I just posted them to, to Discord. I'll have to post them to, to Twitter tomorrow or today, rather. Uh, but yeah, um, was uh, slightly different than what we're used to. They're, what they didn't have the tall chef hats, uh, so they didn't do the, the throwing yeah, they, the, the shrimp tails into their hat thing. They actually wore cowboy hats for yeah, some reason. Yeah, of various types of cowboy hats. I think one guy actually had a trilby. But uh, yeah, they uh, they they very much uh, did a lot of the squirt the sake yeah. in the mouth thing and uh, like encouraging people to like chug chug chug. chug, like, chug well, they chug, said chug chug. It was chug. either like go 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 or. Or something like that. Yeah. And it and it had like the place was pretty packed. We had to wait uh like maybe five, ten minutes before we were able to get in. Yeah, like like the Seinfeld joke, but for real. Uh so it was it was a it was a bit of a wait, but like not the least amount, not the most amount that you'd want to suffer through. It was fairly okay. But yeah, uh the whole time we were we were there, uh like every one of the tables had had uh, the chef, you know, Forcing people to drink uh, either water or sake from his well, I wasn't squirter. forcing. They asked. Yeah. Well, I said yes. They more actually forcefully encourage. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they, they, uh, that's what, as they do. The party they, behind us had a six, uh, 21 year old uh, yeah, birthday they had party. Just, yeah, they had just turned 21. So there was definitely some peer pressure to have have them drink. And yeah, I they was probably like, oh, wanted either. to, though. I normally, like, if yeah. I didn't have to drive, I might have. Asked for the sake, but the guy said sake or water, and I did not understand why he was asking. I was like, he's gonna cook with those, <laughs> and because he had a bottle. I knew exactly what was happening. Because when I was offered sake at other hibachis, they served it in a proper shot glass. Thank, thankfully, when I <laughs> when, when it was uh, when it happened to us, I had my sushi in front of me, so I was actively. Eating the sushi so I can be like, no, oh, no, 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 yeah. no, I asked for the water and actually I liked it. It was nice. Okay. So I had fun with it. All right. Guy yeah. has a good shot. But in any case, uh, at least he didn't do the thing where he tried tossing the, Sally. you know, um, what is it, uh, zucchini in your mouth. Oh, that, I like that. Uh, I have yet to have it be successful. So I've had it good. I I went with my family. Uh, for hibachi many, many, many years ago. 
And much to my surprise, my mom was the only one in the group. I thought she was going to be all for it. But my mom was the only one in the group who didn't try to catch the food in their mouth. Oh, Next. we missed a gift. We missed a gift. Make sure you hold it this yeah. way. <laughs> so my, my, uh, my sister sent me uh, this. She was worried it wasn't going to arrive in time. But uh, it arrived, uh, I believe, the day before. And uh, I've been dying to find out what she got me. Uh, Ooh, I'm dying to find out. Saigon Kit. Right? What's that? What's Saigon Kit? Ooh, Is it what? Ooh, I don't want you, I don't know. God. Ooh, I want you, I don't know if I, I need, need you. But but that's it. Ooh, I'm, I'm dying, dying to find out. out. There you go. Those Jojo. are the words. So when JoJo's our adventure. Yeah, I'm... It oh, was used in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's is it Saigon? Now it's gonna bug me. Mini question block light. Okay. Savage Garden. It's Savage Garden. That's oh, it. Oh, thank yes. goodness. Who saved it? Can you hold that for a second? Eh. Oh, what is this? There it is. We don't know yet. You should have worn the. Uh, oh, you wouldn't have. The, you didn't know. I was like, you should have worn the Mario hat, but it's like. Yeah, right. no Suitable for Super Mario charging night light square brick desktop USB induction night light block brick table lamp beds. So it's a light of question block. <laughs> I like this. I like this a lot. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great day and that everything is going good for you. Love you. XOXO from your sister. Name, uh... She has pink Name hair. omitted for for purposes of protection. <laughs> I uh, like it. And, like uh, it. Amazon gifts you with a, with a, uh, QR code. Yeah. Send a thank you note. <laughs> okay. Never, never seen one of those before. Oh, really? Oh, cool. oh, yeah, yeah. It comes with anything you send as a gift. Okay. That'll go great with your piranha plant and your Yoshi egg. Uh oh. Let it be. We'll find it later. Just instructions. All you do is plug it in the calco. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're right. It's instructions. It says sound function? Neat. So it's got a sound function. Oh. Add it to the collection. <laughs> No, There's so many cables. Uh, let's see. There it is. Oh, yeah, look at those speakers on the bottom. Oh! Hey! You sound just like the Dorkly. Ah, oh, yes! It plugs in. Okay. Neat. You can see the mechanism. Okay, so it makes a coin sound when it turns on and it makes a game over s or death sound when you turn it off. All right. Neato. You uh, got something else over there, I think, right? Or do you want to do that? The same one, but they're not birthday items. Okay, well, are we not going to open them before this video? I, I thought we could do a different one. Because uh, the, the next, the video that we're doing next is, uh, is those things. Okay, well, if you I'll be, I'm being vague, so people well, won't know. Well, if you don't want time. to uh, do a separate one for this, then let me get, let me get my knife out here. I just had a few things to unbox. It's just uh, not much this time around. Um, so there you go. Well, remember, I uh, probably don't. <laughs> in yeah, it's been video, a while, I'm sure. You know, I had this Gal Guy Gar uh, complete series. Uh, technically incomplete because it does not have a Grand Glorious Gathering. Oh, wait, actually, I guess that's the remake. You could just say doesn't have Gal Guy Gar final on it. But then I found out, thankfully, that and i forgot i actually got this a while ago it was supposed to be in an unboxing forever ago but this 
I'm gonna feel so foolish if it's not the right thing. I'm sure it's the right thing. It is the right thing. Okay, it is. And these are the uh, North American releases. It's Gal Gagar Final. So I actually do have it now. I wonder if they form a picture. They form a picture. Let's see. They don't. Um, <laughs> what about the spines? No. Uh. They're not even the same because this one's got the cardboard on it. So that's technically the other one thicker. But yeah, and it feels so much lighter. Well, this one's multiple discs, so... Yeah, I'm very stoked for that. I love Gal Gygar. I know it's aimed at a younger audience, but whatever. Oh, is it really? Yeah, see, it was the... It, you know how they're like, oh, this no, show's just I designed don't. to... I didn't even say the thing yet. <laughs> you know how this show is designed to sell toys and whatever? And I was like, yeah, Gal Gygar is like unapologetically just selling you toys. Almost. Uh -huh. Almost. I enjoyed it because I, I did like the storyline too, but it is very much, here's a new toy you can get. And then ah. the next episode, here's another toy. And it's like... You like those though. Yeah, I do. I do. I, I think. Yeah. I do. And I wish I would get more Gal Gygar toys, but I want a series that is more complete and has uh, a big ball fog that's not awful or a parts former. And I don't think it'll ever happen. Okay. So... Ooh, look at this eco packaging. Oh my. Has what's been done to eco packaging. And this is a companion piece for Ratchet. It is oh. Studio Series Legends Class Ironhide. I keep getting notice emails. What did you, how did you, uh, a radar purchase? How did you find your items or whatever? It was like, I haven't I opened it, seen yet. it yet. But now I have. So Ratchet and Ironhide together, if you know anything about the figures or don't. I'll just say, they're based on the same mold. The original toys were exactly the same. Was it Iron Heart the one in the movie? They the, were both the in the Bay movie. movie. Oh, yeah, Bay movie was Iron Hive. Ratchet it, was all in the cartoons. I definitely remember no, him. Oh, Ratchet from, was in the uh, movie, too. Ratchet in the movie was a green ambulance. Oh, an ambulance. And he was in Transformers Animated. Yes, that's the one I know. And the original. He's a curmudgeon. Yeah. And then Iron Hide was in all of those as well. Um, he was voiced by Peter Cullen, and he did have quite a few scenes with Optimus Prime. So, scenes where he talked to himself, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, spoiler alert, they both, uh, meet, uh, and in the same shuttle, meet, uh, meet an early demise. In the <laughs> no! It, I would, I would have more compulsions about, uh, it's been over 35 years. I know. We watched the movie together. Yeah, we did. I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite movies. But yes. yeah, 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 there you go. You even got Never a poster of it on the wall. Yeah, yes. I, I have the classic movie poster. And the album. Yes, I have. On the wall. The, um, I have the re-release. I do not have the original release. Someday I would like to own the original release of the uh, album. But I mean, I have all the songs between the records and the BotCon uh, collector CDs. At least uh, one of which is autographed by Stan Bush. But there you go. That's it. That's also, all we got. Uh, Bit of an announcement, uh, we've, uh, we've, uh, applied for registration to Anthrocon. You did. We, we've been applied to Anthrocon. I didn't apply to Anthrocon. Why do you tell? Oh, yeah, that's right. I applied both of us to Anthrocon. So yeah. there you go. Now we just need a hotel room. Somebody put us up. Uh, I Let thought, me sleep I thought, in your corner. I thought we were putting up uh, Teddy Dead Rat, so we were all going to share a room together. I was hoping you two would come up with an idea. What? <laughs> yeah, we have to get a hotel room. Okay. It's not arranged yet. Okay. Well, I'll, we'll, I'll be in touch with him. I'll let him know uh, that's happened. And uh, he said that he's going to make his get his way over there. He's, he's uh, kind of closer to there than we are. Somehow? Yeah, we are going to, and uh, the thing is, though, him being a rat, uh, even though uh, budgies typically wouldn't eat such things, uh, I am a giant budgie, and he looks tasty. Okay, well, if you eat him, I eat you. Deal! <laughs> Happy Percy Friday! <laughs> so yeah, to, uh, check out our streams, uh, twitch.tv slash kongatafana and twitch.tv slash transient player! See you, see you there. Bye-bye. See you next week as well. Bye.